head into uh, a doctor's appointment with a sports doctor here in St. Louis uh, University, and I'm going to get my knee checked out. If you don't know, my knee has been fucked up for like six months. Stressful situation for the last six months, but it's okay. We're going to figure it out. We got an x-ray done, another one, and we found that there was like a little bit of a bone spurt, I think is what he called it, uh, on my medial side of my right knee. So he said that that probably indicates that there has been some sort of strain. Um, and I'm starting PT next, is it next week? I said I was going to not be training legs, but here I am. Train a little bit of legs, you know Sam. Just to get the body moving. that they need to know you need to give them something to buy into mm -hmm. by letting them know the kind of person you are the message the reason behind for sure undefined yeah you know which again i stole your line because that's my sort of like model of like 2022 yeah. undefined right. bodybuilding run it everything don't define them put in a yeah, box right. you don't know when you introduce each other it's like so what do you do I'm like fucking everything bro just i am person. i just am bro. Just am. i'm not a bodybuilder i'm not a runner It is Friday, and you know what we're gonna do right now? Surprise, guess what? I mean, if you guessed it, you'll probably get it right. We're gonna go work out. I don't know why I pick up my camera right before I'm about to go work out, but I do, and then I'm like, oh shit, I'm filming a YouTube video. So I, I keep forgetting that I'm filming a YouTube video, and then like, I forget to talk, and then I just like, end up to the gym, so. All these clips are just me in the gym. Either today or tomorrow, we are going to do the Q&A and then keep that shit going. That is what is in the plans right now. I'm gonna hit the rope. I'll catch you guys soon. It is um, Saturday and I am going to go through a bunch of questions that I got for um, my YouTube Q&A. Number one, if you could meet one person, dead or alive, who would it be? 
Um, I don't know who would it be. Who would it be? I don't know who I'd want to meet, dead or alive. I mean, it'd probably be dead because there's a lot of cool people that have been dead that aren't alive right now, you know. Um, but The Rock is also pretty fucking cool. Like, I, I would want to meet The Rock. You know, it's just like the it's just like a solid pick. Um, how long do you how, how long do your edits take? What programs do you use for your photos and videos? For editing specifically, it probably takes about what was that? Maybe an hour and a half, like maybe an hour a day, maybe every other day. So they ask what apps and stuff do I use? I use the entire Adobe suite. Basically I use Premiere Pro for my photos. I do Lightroom. Lightroom is the best editing app. Just get Lightroom. What kind of camera do you use? I use a Sony a7 IV. Are you going to school if you seem to be killing it on your own? This is a good question. Uh, the goal is for me to do undefined full time, but it's just not at that spot. So it's just like, I go to school, get a job, and you know, maybe one day I can quit that job and then move to undefined full time. Hopefully that's in the very, very near future and not something in the, in the far future. Favorite book, Winning by Tim Grover. The biggest life lesson, uh, you are your greatest asset, without a doubt. Right, next one, I started making more money than my teachers. How do I stay grounded? Any tips? Seriously, like think bigger than what you're thinking all right if you are comparing yourself to people who are in your immediate circle the people around you things that you can see i mean this in the most kind way i could possibly say you're gonna lose bro you have to go to the biggest motherfucker in the game and think about how they're seeing it so you're saying how do i stay grounded you go to the motherfucker who's making 700 million dollars a year stay grounded go find those people and then listen to them and be like oh shit i'm an idiot I'm dumb, I actually don't know what I'm doing, and if I want any sort of real level of success, if I want to keep it, um, I should probably stay grounded. Yeah, I hope that's helpful. Go up, elevate yourself, stop comparing yourself with people around you, compare yourself with people way ahead of the fucking game, and that's how you stay grounded in what you do. Any advice for starting a clothing brand? Make sure you for real know you want to. Make sure you know exactly why you're creating clothes. You really, really, truly want it. Like five years from now, you will still be creating, designing, and making clothes. Really know why you want to create a brand. Then you can start getting to work. But if you don't have those two things, do not start. Um, just plain and simple. It's a waste of your time, money, energy. It is a difficult industry. It's not something that's like easy. It's a hard industry. So if your goal is to make money, probably not the best place to start. I'm just being straight up. How and how and what do you use to do and do to create and capture your content? I just have my camera on me all the time and I just set my camera up while I'm living my life and I just run. Hit the record button, tie my shoes, pick the camera up, watch myself going out. And I just have all these clips and I go into Premiere Pro and I take out those little small sections that help me tell a story. And then I just put them all together. And then, you know, if I have a song on the background, I just lay them on top of the song. I really don't overthink it. I don't try to make it something more extravagant than it is. Like you don't see me making this fucking huge goddamn sexy looking breakfast because I'm not eating sexy looking breakfast. I'm just eating fucking cereal and I'm moving on with my day. Um, and that's just how it goes, you know? So yeah, I, I really try not to overthink it. You know, a lot of people think that I put a lot into work into this stuff. It's just me living through my day and me having my camera set up in random moments. Now, is it a little weird to go put your camera up and then go and start reading a fucking book and then five minutes in, it's like, okay, well, I probably should just pick up my camera because I'm just reading my book. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of what it looks like, but it's not a big deal. Like, it's just a little bit of movement, a little bit of walking. People think that's weird, corny. I don't, like, dude, if that's what you think it is, I don't give a fuck. Move on. Um, I just make videos for the internet. Hope that helps. Um, how do you find or know what your purpose in life is? You look for it, you search for it. It is a never-ending thing. That's kind of what undefined also means to me. It's, it's just this constant, evolving process. It's a never-ending thing. You keep churning and looking for it and sometimes you don't find stuff sometimes you create the answers for that um and i think it's something that just keeps going well it keeps you motivated i don't fucking know dude i just keep running money yeah straight up honestly i want i want fucking money i don't know <laughs> you first learn about your message undefined while i was writing literally i was writing a caption yeah i was like oh i'm all these things like what can explain all this and i was like it's just undefined you know there's no there's no definition to it all. It was just kind of like the self-realization. I don't know how to explain or, or express myself. Like, I'm just whatever I am. Um, and I think that's important. How do you stay focused? Uh, ooh, I like this one. This is an open-ended one. Topic, branding. Side of the brand. Like, it's this gut feeling you get about something. How you connect to it. 
you know a lot of people think that branding is this you know the logo or the name or whatever it is it's not you know when you think about Nike what is the first word that comes into your brain athletics stuff like that and, and how you perceive that brand is kind of Nike's role but it's also your role as a c consumer so um, if you are a business and you are trying to understand or build your brand up um, or branding in general it's it's kind of just this feeling about the consumer has about you and everybody whether you have a thousand customers or you have fucking a billion customers like Nike everybody has kind of this different con uh, different idea about you as a business like it relates to them differently and so um, really good brands the best brands in the world create this sort of identity in individuals it's not the people looking at the brands like oh i love nike it's it's kind of like what does nike make me feel like what does nike make me represent they kind of make you as the consumer this like important person wow dude honestly i'm a fucking business mogul i'm a business fucking mogul if you're one of my competitors or whatever and you just heard that shit and you're like oh i just gave you the fucking playbook all right let me tell you, I just gave you the playbook. What do you do when you're dissatisfied in your current place in life? It's change. And a lot of people are scared of change, but that, that's the answer, bro. It's change. Oh, it's hard in our brains to conceptualize that it's that simple, but it's just literally change. So that's a simple answer, and that's the best answer I can give you because that's the one you need to hear. How do you manage school, business, family, friends, and time for you, like gym and shit? The bigger picture answer, how do I manage stuff? I think you just have to have priorities of what you do. So you ask me, how do I manage school, business, family, friends? I don't manage friends, have this many friends. So I really highly prioritize my business, myself, my self-improvement, and my school. Like, how do you manage stuff? It's a, it's a priority, it's priorities. How do you fix those 10 minutes when you're tying your shoes and checking your phone to make it one 30 seconds that you jump up and you're out, you know? Camera battery is, coming to an end so i am going to close this video i appreciate you much love talk soon uh, undefined baby